Stamper and welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com. Today it's all bits and pieces of the trusty tools. I'm going to share tips with that. We're going to make a card. This month, the month of um, February 2024, the customer appreciation it's project using this bundle. So I got um, the toolbox. This is a 3D toolbox. I'm going to share how to do a 3D uh, box on uh, this glue here. See? And of course, it's not just for gentlemen tools. So I did it in the pink. And um, this is the same. And so that's for the month of uh, February 2024. It's um, the customer appreciation. It's the download, all measurement of this, and also the video. We will have the video Saturday the 3rd, I think. I will put it in the description here. And here is another card. And all of them, it's all, um, the card fit in regular uh, envelope. It looks like it's very, it's 3D, but fit in envelope. Again, the measurement for this, it's part of um, the customer appreciation Ollie and I did. Here is another one that fits in the regular card, but it is the tool bill. Is that fun? So today, though, I'm going to share tips on the stands and the dies. When I did my main project, soon I could get it beginning of December, I still had the silver foil. The silver foil been sold out since then, but I'm going to share a very amazing tip. Then you can take the foil, the gold foil, turn it into silver. It don't work with the rose gold. It worked with the gold foil. And also, um, I'm on page 127, the holographic, it's a trio. I'm using the this print here. I like that, like, let's say, like, for the metal on, like, the toolbox or so on. But for tool itself, it's not my favorite. It would work, though, okay? Don't get me warned. It would work. So it's just that you get many other colors. So I'm going to share how you can get the foil, the silver foil, and uh, gold foil to be in just gold. So really we do we're going to build a card but really it's going to be all about um tips on for this one this lovely paper here that i'm sharing that it's part of celebration while supplies last so it end at the end of this month february 2024 um but it's while supplies last so meaning it can sell out before then so let me share first this the dies that uh, fit with that. By the way, the dies, you get 20 dies and they all fit in the mini machine, okay? So the wrench, the vice grip, I guess, this fit, I think, not this one. So you see, you get some very similar here. So, okay, we're going to put this one aside for now. I thought it was one. So here it's the wrench. This one fits, see right here. This one fit here. Lovely. Um, it also fit, uh, okay. So the hammer, the hammer gonna fit with uh, this paper also. So here is one of the hammer. So even if it's like that, don't think this it's not usable because you can use that and just use it in partial of um okay this one it's all but some of them you're gonna see i just use partial so remember that that even that if it's not the full thing you can use part of it okay now um okay we get the vice grip that uh the paintbrush also fit see this is a skinny paintbrush but it fit in this one. Oh, by the way, this was the one, but it fit in the other one to see the circle. No, that was it. See, it's gonna fit. It's gonna cut a little bit different, but it still fit, okay? And then you got um, the tape measure here. See, this fit. 
you get the pencil so some of them fit some of them don't fit so you're going to have just place your uh like this paint brush won't fit see this one is bigger so now you know that this is a very good add-on with this bundle and it's free with qualify order that it's fifty dollars and above now that's a separate from the bundle also it is two die that i strongly recommend to have with this bundle that would be the wood grain uh well it's called timber this one we use seven wood grain this one it's timber the 3d i think this works very lovely with like the toolbox or maybe the background i think that's very a good add-on with this and this one here, that's the metal plate 3D. That I use that on many of my projects, and we're going to use it again today. So let me share first. So now we know, okay, let me share the dies. So for the dies, we got, let me bring this here. So this here for the metal, that's the metal plate, okay? Now, let me remove this aside here. So we get the cork board. That's this piece over here. You don't have to do the full size. This I did the full size, but here it is. Now, this is for the toolbox with the handle. Now, I will not use, like I said, the in a 3D. I did the 3D for the project for this month see this is a 3d but for today we're going to use it flat on the card so when you're going to die cut this in the handle now this one here i emboss it with the timber embossing folder now to get the wood grain pronounced a little bit deeper i'm going to take my ink pad i should have a, let me find a scrappy paper I got my um, glass mat, but it's very under there. So here we go. So we're going to go ahead and put my piece over here. I'm going to take my ink pad directly and tap it on. So then I can see the wood grain uh, pattern on it. Voila. I didn't do it with the the handle but still i want the handle to be a bit darker so i'm just going to drag a little bit okay and you can kind of line that's where whatever the the center here see so it give a character so now that's how i done my um here we go in my toolbox you know the old-fashioned toolbox Okay, so you get those two pieces. Now, I had a piece that I had no clue what it was when I got it, and I struggled a little bit with. That would be this here. And I was, what is this? And what is this? Well, those two things belong together here. And that is, and let me look, I get one someplace. Here is one. So that's the shear. So you got the shear and the handle. That's what those two pieces are. Um, I got, see here in the black, so you get this and then you get your handle also. So now you know, don't, see, they cut in two. So you get your piece, your handle and your shear. That's exactly, or here it is also in, the orange here see so that's those two piece now you got this is the pencil and then this one also it's the pencil it's the topper of your pencil this is the bolt and the the washer and so on right here these two little piece here that's what I use for the drill the circle and that's the trigger here so the circle for the the edge of the drill and then you get i call it the trigger right there 
So we get all those peas. Okay, this part over here, I get it, it's for the vice rips here. So you can do it in two tone. So you get the body and then the top. So that's this piece here. And like the little uh, bolts and that, I put it on, um, when I cut mine, I put it on uh, adhesive paper. So then it was a lot easier to glue. I think this one is too. Yes. So you just peel it up and you're ready to go. I thought that would be easier. See, I just put my adhesive strip in the back of this. And you get, see the little bolts and screw and so on. Now, the paintbrush, you get the body of the paintbrush and you get the brush itself. Now, let me, you know, the more you play with stuff, the more you learn. Okay, so I did my brush and then I said, I like this because see, you get all the little lines. So it's like the bristle, whatever of the brush itself. Well, if you use this part over here to cut it, it's going to cut it completely off. Well, I said, that's no biggie. I'm going to cut another one and I'm going to put it on top of it. Well, uh, I'm picky a little bit when it comes to stuff like that. But see, it was like floating. It was like nothing holding it. So let me show you what I done to fix that. And that was with another card where so i put the cover on top of it meaning i put a little strip it was nothing to it i just use a strip now i cannot find the card it will maybe appear here and i will show so really what you want to do it would take a little piece of card uh, of cardstock and put it on the top okay now it's going to bug me till I find it, right? Here we go. Okay, it's not there. Okay, move along. Now we got the tape measure. So we're going to be doing the tape measure. So this is for your tape measure, and this is the measuring tape itself. Now this is the drill that I show you the drill over here. And then the pointy part right here, that's part of your drill. And you're going to see it's got kind of, um, do I have one here? No. So it don't slide in. I thought it slide in in those inch there. It don't. You just glue it. And um, the hammer, you can do the two-tone in your hammer. We're going to do that today. And here is your wrench. So you get our, now I cannot remember, wrench, vice grip. That is the vice grip wrench. Here we go. So here's your all your bits and parts, okay? So let me assemble so you can see how that i done some of the stuff here. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and see, I'm just using a piece of uh, early espresso cardstock here, and I'm going to put those two strips, and that's the holographic here. It worked for the tools too, it's just that I feel it's too shiny for the tools or so on, but it, I think it looks good like for those metal like um, toolbox. It's funny, when I get this, I went and looked at my son's toolbox. He got quite the collection. Now, for this one here, because of all the holes, my best advice, it's Tombow glue, and you don't have to put it all. So you're going to take your Tombow glue, and you're going to go all around here. And then you can do here and there, but you don't have to do it all, okay? And that should secure it plenty. You can raise it up if you want, absolutely. This one, I'm not. So um, I don't know when you're going to watch a video. If it's past February 3rd, I think. You want to watch the one for uh, the customer appreciation. It's going to be quite a bit in there. But to get all the measurement for that one, it's with a qualified order. Now, for the toolbox, that we will raise it up. 
Now, you can put it at the top if you want. I was debating, but I want my inside. My best way to do that for me, it's with glue dots. So you, the front of your handle, I'm going to put this here. So even if it's a, a toolbox, like I done 3D, you can do it flat also. But we're going to raise it up just a little bit, okay? Here we go. Now I'm going to put that here and there. Okay, we're going to take dimensional and we're going to keep our dimensional on the side because we're going to slide some tools in it. I won't worry about the handle. It's just I'm going to put it right beside, but not to cover the holes there. So I'm going to put it there and there and the same thing over here. One over there. I want to make sure I don't see it on the other side and I do. I do not like that then oops here we go now we're going to remove this and we're gonna put that right at the top and then after this it's put then we can build the rest and i won't have no greeting at the top exception that when Holly was here and we did our walkthrough of the catalog, from the mini catalog, we get those alphabet. It's one die, only one die. And from that die, you get, so it is on page 47. So 47. Et voila, right here. And it fit in the mini. Okay, I do not have that die, but all they left this here. When we're doing it, I'm like, wait a minute, we can put that on those fo uh, um, foam sheet. So we done that, and here what I decide to do. So you get more than one letter, okay? Like I had two O and so on. You get most of it too. Well, the B, the popular one, get two. I think the valves, if I look quick, at least the valves, you get two. The I, 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 e -O -E. I have to say it in French, it's funny. But yeah, the valves get two at least, okay? So that, you just put your foam, uh, foam in the back, and then you pass it in the machine, and now you get your letter. Well, I wanted something that look a little bit like it's... Um, rusted so what i done to get the rusted i use uh, this is a smoky slate just added a bit of smoky slate cajun craze i try with both the dark the light whatever floats your boat okay it's doesn't matter and it can be all mixed because you want it to look like it's old maybe or it's been hanging in the shed for a while and so on but one thing that I did though, I took my pen and I went on the side so it's not so bright, the white. So I done that with stamping blends. Now we can do, put our tools there. So CT, and I won't do it straight. O, O, and L, S. So now we're gonna have our tools there. So that that is oh it's got the sticky in the back, but this one get maybe move and then I put it all over. So I'm gonna add glue, but you shouldn't have to add glue, okay? The only reason it's whoops, it's because that the paper fell out and then the glue was kind of gone, right? And here it's the same thing, but I'm gonna show you, I'm sure it's one that I didn't pull the paper. Must be when I pull it out from the T-O. Here's one, see, just remove that. O, L, C, how lovely it is when it didn't get removed. And then the S. Oh, that one got pulled and see the thing was smaller I just add another piece cut it sideways 
So it don't have to cover the whole letters. It is part that if you want to see it in action, I'm going to add the video at the end. It was part of the, uh, the walkthrough of the catalog. Now that we get this, okay. So this one here, oh, here we go. I find the thing. So like I said, if you cut your wet, you get this. Now I thought, okay, I want this part cut and see, but when I cut this, I thought it's just make the lines in it. It cut the whole thing. So I can mount it back together here. Okay, I sure can do that. No problem. And that's what we're going to do for this one. Or if I put this here, see, it looked like this is just nothing old, the brush old, right? The brush. So this is where I put a little piece of just black there. It's all optional, but that way I think it cover and so on. But here, I'm going to go ahead, put that in the bag here, show you that it's all possible. Going to take a piece of just plain tape and put that here. If voila. Oh, you don't want to see the tape in the back though. That was a bit too long. So that's a way that you can have those. It, it don't show much in the picture here, but it's all rough. So it's kind of embossed and cut and so on. So that we're going to put that on the pegboard. That's why I didn't put glue and uh, not glue, but uh, paint on this one. Because uh, if I put paint, well, you wouldn't hang up the paint, right? Oops. I'll make sure I get one on the brush there. That's the scotch tape, and here we go. I'm going to find a way. Okay, now I'm going to put that right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and put one of them. Now remember I told you we can do silver, right? So let me get my scrappy paper here. Now the best thing is... Um, Smoky slate, the light or the dark. Uh, I prefer the light, I think. I don't know where I put it, so we're just going to go with the dark. But see if, and that's on the goal. And so now, if you don't have silver, but you get gold, so really uh, the gold going to play both, right? Going to play the gold or the, if voila. How sweetness is that? And I'm going to tell you how I discovered that. I wanted to do some rust on my tool. See this? Is that cool? So now with your gold, you can get um, silver. It don't work with rose gold. I don't know why. It's just work with the gold gold. Uh, rose gold come in three color. But see, I try over and over and it gets a little bit lighter but nothing like the other one okay absolutely nothing like the other one compared to see this one so you really get silver so here's another tip for you now we're going to go ahead and i'm just going to use glue dots you can uh, use a uh, tombow glue whatever the glue that you like uh for me right now, glue dot gonna go fast for my video. And I could leave it that way, right? I get two color tone, but I wanted to show you the other piece here. Voila, it worked. And that's one of the rose gold also. Now this one, I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna put that with just dimensional, not, uh, not a dimensional, just glue dots, okay? And... Et voilà. Now we're going to add tools in here. We're going to do the, uh, let me think, I'm going to get it. Uh, the measuring tape. So I'm going to go ahead and use my, uh, Misty Moonlight. I like to cut it first for this one. Some I like to cut it after. I think it's because I'm not a good die cutter, so I like to do it after. Uh, 
So we're going to go ahead and use the detail one. Oh, I want it black on this. Sorry. Okay, the detail is going to be in black. I'm not worried because this is darker. I wouldn't go uh, dark to light. Now I'm going to match this. Like so. Voila. Now I'm going to take this one here. That's the filler kind of. And we're going to put that there. And that's going to be with the Misty Moonlight. And I'm going to put that right here. And I could have my uh, foam on, under to have a better print. Oh, that worked good. See? Now, here's a trick. I got, again, I cut with the gold. But the tip of the measuring thing, usually it's silver, right? This little thing there. So I'm going to take my marker. That is a stamping blend, the smoky slate. I'm having the dark right now. Uh, dark or light work. But see, now I got my tip in the silver. Is that cool? Another thing that you can do that I did on one of them, to see the line more, you can take a Sharpie. Well, I had a Sharpie. Okay, let me, you know what? Let me try the stamping blend here, the uh, dark, black, and I'm just going to put the, yep, that's going to work. Use the stamping blend and just follow. It's kind of um, embossed there, so then you can put your line even darker. It's more pronounced. Now, this is going to get glue right there. Again, you can use Tombow glue or you can use glue dot. I'm just using glue dot right now just because it's go faster for a video and it dry faster. Now, I'm going to put that right here. So now you get your metal tape coming out. Now I would use, um, here we go, color that button over here. And I'm just going to. What? I'm going to use this over here. Et voila. Now, this, I'm going to put that, that it's coming out just out of it there. Now, for our hammer, again, um, I got the silver. I had the silver before. Do you see it look kind of beat up? Well, I think tools should be kind of, uh, not just for decoration, it's been used, right? So you can take anything um, like the end of maybe a, paintbrush or a pen and just tap it on the side there to add character okay again that's all optional now we're going to glue that on my um handle the handle i did it in crumb cake so it's my handle it's like a wood handle and then we get the metal at the top here I need one more glue dots here because it's coming apart. Make sure you get one at the bottom there or you use Tombow glue. Here we go. Now I can have my right there. And I got another wrench over here. So here we go. We're going to put those three. So I'm just going to use a little glue dot right on you don't need all oh, the the ink it's not dry so here we go and i'm gonna lift this up here so it's at the top now the same thing with your tools 
Now I'm going to show you a little bit more with the stamp set now. Okay, I'm seeing something that I don't want. So, um, see this pass? So you don't want to pass it or you can cut it. And this here, I didn't glue that good. So let me uh, shave that off. Um, that's another reason that I was saying, you know, those um, print, you can use like just cut this part here and put it here. It don't have to be the full thing. So remember, even the one on the edge can be all used. Okay, all of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and here we go. So now we get all this. So, and this I feel need to be moved a little bit more. Can I move it or not? No, I'm going to leave it there. I feel it's missing something. I will add something in the center there. Okay. Now, do you see what I done with this? It looked like the paint is running. So let me share with you how this is done. So I took my stamp set, the dad there, and I got it right here. I hope that was lucky, but it's two sides to the paper. Stamp down. Okay, keep it there. Hold your paper, brush it down. Again, go right there soft and then drag it et voila so that's how i get my paint that run down okay it's just something i thought it add character for a mask one card it's all up to you now for the brush though so you get the bowls and so on so it's this little piece here that it's right here let me show you how I'm just uh, stamping this here with the black, et voila. And now this little piece that looked like a little cloud, okay? The straight edge gonna go at the bottom. I got ink all over. The straight edge at the bottom and the cloudy part at the top, meaning this way. It's because at the end, it's hold on by the brush and then depend how you dip, you know? So you see, oof, it go that way. Because it not, if you go at the bottom, let me show you what I mean by that. Go this way, et voila. Now, if I take this and go the other way, See, I don't know how you would dip your brush in your bucket, but see, it's no paint there. So you have to have the straight edge at the bottom, and then this is that way. All the, those little details, it's not much, but it adds a bit. Now, you got, let me show you here. So you get the crayon, and that is that's the detail, that's to, the filler. Now you get the hammer and this part, it's the top of the hammer. And then the same for the wrench. This is the top for the center. Same for the measuring uh, tape and for the tool brush. So here it show very lovely inside. They're not put all together. They're kind of mixed. So the this one here, you, you're going to see when you put it at the top, See this one, the long one go with the wrench and the shorter fat one, it's the hammer. They just not play side by side like on the top of your thing. But this little piece, that's your paint. Now for my card here, I would just go ahead. You know what? This still can be good. I This one here, it's stamped with um, a pecan pie. The filler I stamp off and then back on. It's like kind of a wood paint brush. 
and then I put the top. And I had water um, color. You don't need it. The, the brush, I'm going to go ahead and stamp that again to make it more pronounced. Et voila. And then for here is my front. So now you got the tin bit of what the tools are for. When you're going to come on my blog right below, you get the direct link. I'm going to have something in the center there. Uh, I'm going to have another little something because I feel it's missing something in the center, but I don't want nothing big also. So I don't know if we got, or maybe even a sheer from... Um, that's almost too big maybe like that it's missing something i think that's going to be good so that is it my friend remember the paper it's part of celebration and it is while supplies last okay so you get very lovely print too if you don't like the tools always something on the other side i get the ruler also so here it is so that is it, my friend, for today. I hope this helped you with all the bits and pieces. Remember, that's the shear, the handle of the shear, uh, the, the drill. So that is it. Come and visit us for the customer appreciation. I will, after February 3rd, I will attach the video at the end here. Thank you so much. Till next time, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye for now.